I'm going to explain you the differences between file systems, and I'll show you how to check your storage devices to see what file system they're using, as well as how to change it to a different file system. The easiest way to check the file format of your storage device is to right-click it in Finder and choose Show Info. From the Info window, you'll see the format. I have three devices here. One of them is a hard drive formatted to Mac OS Extended, one is an SD card formatted to XFAT, and the third one is an SSD drive using APFS format. Another way to check this is to launch Disk Utility, which lives in your Applications folder. Disk Utility is also what you would use if you wanted to switch to a different format. Here you see your storage devices listed with some basic info like space used, space available, and what file system your drive is currently using. Changing the format requires you to fully erase all data on a drive, so if you ever need to switch from one format to another, Make sure you back up all your important files first. Here are the formats you can choose from. APFS is Apple File System, and it's the default file system for Mac computers that are running Mac OS High Sierra or newer. It's optimized to be used with SSD drives, but it can also be used with older systems with traditional hard drives. If you're running Mac OS High Sierra or a newer version, you can use APFS format as a boot drive or you can use it as a data drive. For any modern SSD that you're using only with a Mac, this is a good format to use. You can also choose an encrypted version of APFS, which is the same file format, but encrypted with a password. When encrypting an internal drive, you have to enter the password to access the device and its information. With external drives, you'll need to enter the password every time you plug in the drive. Choosing a case-sensitive formatting will make your computer read the contents of the drive differently depending on the letter casing. With standard APFS, for example, your computer doesn't care whether a file or folder name is utilizing lowercase or uppercase letters. If the characters spell out the same word, your computer sees those files and folders as identical. With case-sensitive formats, files with same names but different lowercase and uppercase characters are seen as separate files. The last option, encrypted and case sensitive, will have the two features combined. The default file system on older Macs used to be Mac OS Extended, and even though you only see two options here, you might see a few more if you're working on an older Mac. Any hard drive formatted to this file system still works fine with new Macs, so if you have an older drive that's using Mac OS Extended, there's really no need to change it. The differences are the same as there with APFS. Besides the default, you can choose an option that's either encrypted or case-sensitive or both encrypted and case-sensitive. All the Mac OS extended options are journaled. This refers to a feature called journaling. Journaling is a method used by file systems to maintain the integrity of the file system in case of unexpected shutdowns or system crashes. When a file system is journaled, it keeps a log or journal of changes that are going to be made to the file system. This log ensures that if the system crashes or loses power, the file system can be quickly and efficiently repaired upon reboot, as it knows which changes were being made at the time of the interruption. In practical terms, journaling helps to reduce the chances of file system corruption and minimizes the time needed for file system checks and repairs after a crash, thereby improving the overall stability and reliability of the system. Lastly, we have the file systems that are compatible with both Windows and Mac computers. XFAT stands for Extended File Allocation Table, and it's widely supported by both Windows and Mac OS without the need for additional software or drivers. It allows for large file sizes and partition sizes, which makes it the best option if you need something that's compatible with both operating systems. XFAT is often used for USB flash drives, external hard drives, and SD cards because of its cross-platform compatibility. MSDOS FAT is one of the oldest file systems, and even though it offers the same cross-platform compatibility, it has a maximum file size of 4 GB and a maximum partition size of 32 GB, which makes it pretty useless with modern large file sizes. If you have a drive that has the default Windows file system NTFS, 
you'll usually be limited to read-only access on a Mac, since Macs don't fully support NTFS drives. There are some third-party drivers like Paragon NTFS for Mac or Tuxera NTFS for Mac, which enable full read and write access to NTFS drives on macOS. So if you have to use an NTFS drive on a Mac, you'll need to download one of those. And that wraps it up. Let me know which file systems you guys are using, or if you've noticed any major differences. Hit that subscribe button on your way out, and I'll see you in the next video.